We got the right song at the right place at the right time. Now, I need you to get out on that stage right now. Titties, titties, ass and titties. Big booty bitches that's wearing guests. Come on, ho, let's go to the easy rest. When I see ass, titties, ass and titties. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Mag Lessons Radio Show. And I'm your host, Mr. Tariq King Flex Nashi. Glad to have everybody tuning back into the show. We're broadcasting live from Flaw Scandalous, California. What's up, players and playettes? Today's show is brought to you by MacLessons.com. That's where you can get the Mac Lessons DVD. MacLessons.com and you can check out UnitedPlayersOfAmerica.com That's where you can chop up game with other players such as yourself. What's up out there in Macland? I'm a Max and Macettes. On today's show I'm going to talk about ugly light-skinned females. We're talking about ugly ass, light skinned females, or females who are light skinned and just not that cute. And this isn't a show to diss anybody. I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just making an observation. This is an observation show. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because um, I notice in the black community, Average looking light skinned females will get a pass just because they're light skinned. I've noticed this. Now, back in the 80s, a lot of black men who were light skinned would get a pass just because they were black men. You remember back in the 80s? All a nigga had to do was be light skinned, he'd get a record deal. Light skinned brothers were the shit to women back in the 80s. We had all types of brothers They just kind of fell off Like You know you had the barge They were the king of the light skinned niggas You had Ray Parker Jr. You had Well Prince Prince is still around Had Gregory Abbott (laughs) Lilo Thomas There's a whole bunch of Just all types of Ambiguous light skinned dudes Who got record deals I'll be sure He was one of the king of the light-skinned niggas back in the 80s. Niggas didn't even have to have talent. Al B. Sure, his album, that first album was the shit, but Al B. Sure couldn't sing his way out of a paper bag. And that nigga was huge. Just because he was light-skinned. Now, when the 90s rolled over, the light-skinned brothers kind of fell off a little bit. Women stopped fucking with dudes just because they were light-skinned. That light-skinned thing wasn't going to work for the brothers no more. You barely, rarely see light-skinned dudes. It's like, how many, there's like, what, two left? Al Reynolds and Stedman. Those are the two light-skinned niggas left. The two last light-skinned niggas. <laughs> All the other light-skinned dudes got tans. But we just got Stedman and Al Reynolds. <laughs> But again, like I said, man, back in the the 80s, the light-skinned brothers with the shit, but they fell off. Now, as far as light-skinned women, I think there's a lot of light-skinned women who still get passes just because they're light. It was happening in the 90s, too. There was a lot of light-skinned women who weren't really that attractive back in the 80s. 
that got passes just because they were light. Y'all remember, like, I was looking at some VH1 old school show, and they had Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. All my 80s babies. Y'all remember her? Now, I remember in the 80s, people used to act like Lisa Lisa was the shit. Even me, I thought she was the shit. But in actuality, she really wasn't. Let's see who's on the phone. Who's on the phone? What's going on, man? It's JT. Hey, what's going on, JT? What's on your mind, player? Man, just chilling on. I'm just calling in because, man, it's been a lot of bad uh, representation about the All-Star game, man. Yeah, so, uh, shit, I've been hearing nothing but negative reports about it. You have a positive I'm spin just- on it? I mean, it all depends where you was at. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of, it was a lot of females, you know, a lot of this, you know. You had to be at the right place, man. The right parties, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't just be cruising the stripping like that. You know what I'm saying? The, the thing is, bro, if you you could go to a crack house and find a place where there's no crack. You know what I'm saying? The thing yeah, is, so you- people don't want to be ducking and dodging gunfights in order to get to a hot party. You know what I'm saying? People are just like, look, fuck it. If you got to do all that in order to find a, a good location, it's just not even worth going. You know, the, the negatives are going to always stand out more than the positive. But there was so much negative shit happening up there. It's unsalvageable. It's unsalvageable. You can't really put a positive spin on what happened up there. Nothing fly happened. There was fights all over the place. No, shootings at different clubs. A number of shootings. Gang fights. Yeah. It was just ridiculous. So there's nothing positive about that, man. Niggas got to call it out and call out them niggas and be like, look, step this shit up next time. I definitely agree. All right, player. Thanks for the call, man. That's enough. Black folks, stop trying to put a positive spin on bullshit. That's the problem, man. We, we try to embrace, and I, I talked about this yesterday, us bracing niggerdom. We can't embrace that stuff. Who's on the phone? Hello? Call back when you got something to say. Like I was saying, man, we can't embrace niggerdom. We can't embrace this nonsense, man. We can't let ignorant nonsense fly by and make excuses for it over and over again and again I talked about that yesterday on yesterday's show black folks we're real good at making excuses for for half ass dumb stuff white folks don't really do that man if there's some white folks acting a fool other white folks distance themselves from that you feel me White folks distance themselves from that ignorant shit. Like, every white person has, like, a hillbilly in their family. Every white person out here, they got, like, a cousin or something living in a trailer down south somewhere. But white folks distance themselves from that. You'll never know it. They don't embrace that. That's embarrassing to them. And I know black people, we're very familial. We're all about family. But we can't embrace the dumb shit. I I won't embrace none of it. I'm not making a positive spin on any bullshit no more. There's nothing positive about what happened at All-Star Weekend. That shit was whack. It was embarrassing, man. I remember back at the, uh, one of the Source Awards, man. This is another thing that turned me off from hip-hop. You know that Source Awards a few years ago where everybody was fighting at the Source Awards? They were running up on stage fighting. All the artists were fighting. It was just ridiculous. And people were trying to make excuses for it. They were like, well, hell, it ain't like nobody got killed. I'm like, okay, I'm done with these niggas. I'm cool. You just can't keep putting positive spins on bullshit. You got to distance yourself away from that. But anyway, I digress. Now, back to the light skin thing. Like I was saying, back in the day, brothers gave a lot of halfway looking sisters props just because they were light skinned and I was giving the example of Lisa Lisa for all the cats who are old enough to remember Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam Lisa Lisa was this Puerto Rican female she had a couple of hit records out back in the day and back in the day niggas was acting like she was like hella fly the thing is man Lisa Lisa wasn't really that cute she just had she was a light skinned chick Pretty hair and big titties. That's it. Other than that, she was like, you know, blah, blah. What's up? Who's on the phone? 
Hey, what up, King Flex? This is Sean from Maryland. Hey, what's going on, Sean? What's on your mind, man? Nothing much. Um, I had a quick question for you and whatnot. Go ahead. All right, see, I'm 18. I got this job and everything. I work with, like, 25-year-old females and everything. All right. And my question is, like, me being all young, they look more appealing to me than most girls my age because they seem like they got their little bit of stuff together and whatnot. Right. So I was trying to figure out how I could get at them. What you do, man, and, and you got a good mind state, man. You're thinking like a player. You're thinking like a Mac, man. Because when I was 18, I wasn't really trying to deal with women my age. You dig? You want to upgrade yeah. and you want to be around women who got something. Because at 18, you ain't really got no money. The little 18-year-old broads ain't got no money. Y'all can't keep sneaking over each other mama house playing with each other. You want to get a woman who has some tangibles. So it's cool to deal with those 18, those um, 25-year-old women, 24-year-old women. Just spit real mature game at them. Don't come across as no young buck. And just step to them with some good conversation, man. And just get into their minds. Get to know them and just really spit quality game at them. You dig? And you, you'll be all right, yeah. man. But you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track. All right. All right thanks thanks for the call, player. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with spit those 25, 24-year-old women. Those are the ones to spit at. But step your game up, though. And the brother's working. I like that. I like to see a young brother getting his work on. It sounds like he has a good head on his shoulders. But back to the thing about light-skinned women. And back in the day, there was a lot of light-skinned women. When you look back in hindsight, they were average. Like Stacy Lattisaw, she was average. A lot of guys were sweating her because she was light-skinned back in the day. Who else? That model, Veronica Webb. Veronica Webb was never that attractive to me. She got a light-skinned pass. They were saying she was fine just because she was light-skinned. You'll look her up, Veronica Webb. Who else? Another one who everybody gave a light-skinned pass. Not only did they give her a light-skinned pass, they gave her a pass just because her body was off the hook. Her body made up for it. We were distracted by her body. It's Rosie Perez. Rosie goddamn Perez. Y'all remember that scene with her in the movie Do the Right Thing? When that came out back in, what, 89? Niggas was like, Rosie Perez is the shit. Rosie Perez is a dime. When you look back at that, even back then, Rosie Perez, her face was kind of hit. She kind of looked like a chihuahua in the face, but Rosie Perez's body was off the hook. Her body made up for all that shit. Her body more than compensated. So we gave her a pass. She got a light skin pass. And a body pass. Because the body was sick. Also, another chick who was average looking and a lot of guys gave her extra props just because she was light skinned. That's um, Salt from Salt and Pepper. Salt is average. She's not no dime ass broad. She's like damn near below average, but she's very average. But she gets a light skin pass. There's a lot of them. Even today. And, and this, I'm not shitting on light-skinned women. There's a lot of light-skinned women who are dimes. You know, like Beyonce is a genuine dime. No matter what her skin tone would be, she's a dime. 100%. Uh, another one, Holly Berry. Holly Berry's a dime. Light-skinned or not. Even if she was, you know, jet black, brown, whatever, she'll still be a dime. Another one who's a dime, Lisa Ray. Not just because she's light skinned. Lisa Ray is a fine old broad, and Lisa Ray got miles on her. Lisa Ray got a lot of miles on her. Another one, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys is a fine light skinned broad. Beautiful face. Her body is kind of suspect. See, Alicia Keys has like the illusion of a fly body. Like they show those shots of her, and she got them thick thighs, but Alicia Keys ain't got no ass. She's like. 
she's one of those chicks with like wide hips and no ass like Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, that's another one. That's another one who gets a light skin pass because Mariah Carey looks like a munchie chi doll. But she gets a light skin pass. Because Mariah Carey ain't got nam piece of ass. She o ass. That's why she's in them heels all the time trying to squeeze and salvage what little piece of ass she can salvage. But I would bang Mariah Carey though. I like that crazy bitch. I like her crazy ass. I put some ass on her. What other light-skinned chicks that they gave props to? You know, another one? Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell's kind of average, y'all. That light-skinned thing gave us the Jedi mind trick. If you really, really look at her, she's I. She ain't really no dime. Niggas was talking about back in the day she was a dime. You look at some of those old house party movies. I'm like, uh uh-huh. And like I said, the rapper Trina, she's all right. She's on the borderline. She just has that ass that pulls, it puts the Jedi mind trick on niggas. Trina has that fat ass and it, it tricks niggas. You know another female, a light-skinned female that cats be giving props to? Who's not that attractive to me? That rapper, female rapper, Charlie Baltimore. That's a funny looking broad. The only reason they give her props is because she's light. That's it. It's a very strange bird. But what made me think of this whole thing, man, I met a girl the other day. I was fooled by the Jedi light-skinned mind trick. I met a girl the other night. Me and the partners were rolling around, and this young lady stepped to me, light-skinned girl. But her hair was kind of all in her face, and I really couldn't get a good look at her because it was nighttime. And I, and I gave her my number. She called me up. And um, I like to look at people's MySpace page. I said, yo, you got a MySpace page? And she gave me her MySpace page. And I looked at her MySpace page. And I'm like, damn. Other than being light. And she had a nice body. But she wasn't that attractive in the face once I took a good look at her. Now, outside, you know, in in public, when it was kind of dark, she was kind of fly, but it was the light skin illusion. Because I saw her MySpace page, her ass looked like a a Geico caveman. So, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Sometimes I let that light skin Jedi mind trick fool me. How many guys let that happen to you? I want everybody to go to unitedplayersofamerica.com and go to my blog on myspace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed. And I want you to post some of the other female celebrities that you think get a pass just because they're light-skinned. These are the few ones I can think of, but I want your opinion on some other ones because I think that's a major thing. You know, I'm just becoming cognizant of that. But I think we do. A lot of brothers, I think a lot of us do that. A lot of you cats, and me included, we give people props just because they're light-skinned. I stopped doing it because I like them chocolate ones. But every now and then, I might get fooled. But I like them chocolate ones, and I like me a nice red bone, too. I like either one. I like one extreme or the other. I'm not too crazy about the them caramel and them mocha colored. I like them jet black and red. I like one or the other. But I want to get some of you guys' opinion on that, too. I want you to go to myspace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed. And go to my blog and post some of your opinions up. What I don't like, though, is that there are a lot of average light-skinned broads that niggas will pump their heads up especially in the hood you get these hood rats who are light skinned and in, a, in the hood a light skinned woman in the hood is like god niggas pump their heads up heavy yeah, 
It don't matter what they look like. They can be all pudgy, out of shape. But as long as they're light, niggas are, are chasing up behind them. And that light skin ugly is a hard ugly. I've always said that. Being light skin and ugly is a hard ugly. And a light skinned hood rat is the worst hood rat because a lot of these women who are mixed and they live in the hood, in order to compensate, in order to fit in, they have to be extra ghetto with theirs. So they have to go overboard. And we've all seen the fellas. You've all been in the hood and you've seen like these old thick ass, pudgy, coochie ass, light skinned girls with like burgundy hair and pink weaves walking around looking like Keisha Coleslaw. That's right, goddammit. Not Keisha Cole, Keisha Coleslaw. So, brothers, y'all stop pumping these broads' heads up. The moral of the story is let's keep the standards correct. Let's start treating women and people accordingly. Stop giving these women a false sense of flyness, fellas. If they're average, treat them like they're average. Stop treating these average broads like they're vanity. And Pamela Anderson. Treat their asses just like they should be treated. Step your standards up. I, I, I talk about that all the time, fellas. Step your standards up. Because you go out, man, you see these old lackluster females just acting like somebody is supposed to roll out the red carpet for them. You see that all the time and you get these average looking females who expect brothers to jump through hoops for them. And the reason they think like this is because of some of you simp ass brown nosing dudes pumping their heads up, making them think that it's like that when it's so not like that. You feel me? But anyway, check out MacLessons.com. Check out MySpace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed. And don't forget to check out UnitedPlayersOfAmerica.com. That's it for today's show. I will holler at you cats tomorrow. Peace.